This is my 1998 Ferrari 456 GTA. And I just recently took it out of storage. And um, unfortunately, as I've been driving around, I've been getting kind of a misfire. Um, you know, the car has been kind of sitting for a while. Uh, over the past couple years, I haven't really driven it much. And part of that reason was last year I brought it to a shop to get the timing valve service and oil change and a bunch of other stuff done and what i would have thought would have been you know uh maybe a couple of weeks turned into about six months so pretty much i only drove it twice last year to the shop and back from the shop but first thing i'm going to do is go through and kind of just check the spark plugs uh, i'm going to try to clean them off if if uh, they look like they're just kind of a little bit sooty but um what i'm going to do is try to at least take a look at the spark plugs see if it looks like they're in decent shape um i'm suspecting that most likely it's just uh bad gas or something just from sitting all these years i did use stable uh fuel stabilizer in the uh in the gas but you never know all right got my long extension and everything and Ended up having to buy another socket because for some reason my other socket didn't seem to want to connect. This one's magnetic and it definitely helps. But I'm going to loosen this up and see what this one looks like. Right. Ow. Give it a second to focus. Yeah, there we go. Finally focused. Yeah, a little dirty and a little sooty, but what I'm going to do is just kind of clean it up for now. Uh, unfortunately, I'm going to have to order the spark plugs to replace them. But I'm going to clean these up with a wire brush, just kind of get all that grime off of it. And uh, when I put everything back together, I'll see if it drives any better. This is the first one that I removed from the passer side. And it definitely looks a little crispy. I'm gonna clean this one up too and kind of continue on with all the rest. But so far the left side looks pretty good. This side looks a little bit, a little different. All right, this is the after. Just kind of cleaned them up really quick with a, with a little wire brush there. We'll see if I still get the misfires after cleaning all these up. So I've cleaned up each spark plug, and again, it seems like this side here, this uh, right bank, um, actually it was in worse condition than the left. I'm also going to throw some of this in the gas tank too, just to kind of help out, you know, cleaning everything up. And unfortunately, this car has sat for a good amount of the last two years. Um, Mostly because I brought it to a shop to get the timing belt service and stuff like that done. And the guy that worked on it, unfortunately, kept my car for about six months or so. I ended up having to, like, grab it back because it was taking forever. So anyways, I'm going to start up and see if it, you know, runs any smoother than before. seems really smooth seems like it's kind of idling pretty good it sounds pretty good uh, in the past it was uh, kind of shaking quite a bit and when you look at the hood and everything everything seems pretty pretty smooth now so that might have been it um, I will be ordering new spark plugs for it you know regardless just because it has kind of 
been a while since I've replaced them anyways. Uh, but at least it seems like it's running a little better now. So what I'm going to do is now run the scanner and hopefully at some point be able to clear the check engine light. So these are some of the reasons that I wanted to check the spark plugs first. As you can tell, I'm getting random misfires. So the good part is now I'll clear these codes, drive around a little bit more and see if I get any uh, if I get that check engine light to come back on or if it stays off for a while. Now with this car, it's not unusual to have the check engine light turn on because it sits in storage quite a bit. And, you know, it does kind of tend to come on for random reasons, but sometimes it's like emission stuff, but. So everything should be cleared now. Now I'm gonna drive around a little bit more and just kind of check to, uh, Make sure that everything's good. All right, as you can see, check engine lights off. This is the suspension. This car's got a self-leveling uh, suspension and that's a little gummed up. I'm gonna have to kind of address that. But as you can see right now, the check engine light is off. Now I'm gonna drive around and see if it you know, stays off. Subscribe, like, and comment. Thank you for watching, and uh, see you next time.